In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Stream Controller X, a potential competitor to the Elgato Stream Deck. And I think this one's going to get very interesting because obviously when you take a look at this thing, it looks very similar to a Stream Deck. And I think this is where it's going to surprise you. There's a lot of things about this device that I think it might actually do better than an Elgato Stream Deck. And I want to talk about those and the pros and cons in today's video. Roll that intro. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And before we go ahead and get into all this, I do wanna let you know that Razer did send over this product for us to take a look at and give you our thoughts and opinions on it. They're not telling us what to say or giving us a bunch of information, you know, of like, hey, here's all this stuff. They just gave us the product said, hey, take a look at it, make a review, tell us what you think and tell the people what you think. And right out of the gate, I was blown away before I even plugged this into a computer for a few reasons and some of the things that I don't necessarily like about my Elgato Stream Deck. And the first one and number one thing is the ability to do this right here. You can see I am really putting pressure and you can probably see my desk moving there on the bottom. This thing stays where you put it, and that is a problem I've always had with my Stream Deck. No matter what Stream Deck I've used, it just moves. You push buttons and it moves. It's annoying, like right there, it moved. I want it to stay put. Don't, don't move around on me. Stop, please, don't do that. Well, the Razer Stream Controller X stays where you put it. You can push buttons. It, it just doesn't move around. That's awesome. Now, I do want to go ahead and say it does have the ability to be laid down like this. So if you want a more flat profile for like a, next to your keyboard, you can get that. This does move around a little bit more, but it doesn't move around near as much as the Stream Deck does, especially whenever you've got it at this kind of angle and you're pushing down on it. So props to Razer for including this, whatever kind of adhesive this is, and I've tested it. You can get it very dirty. You can wash it with water and then it stays sticky and stays wherever you put this thing. So first off, build quality, A+. Plus. And it looks like we're also gonna have the ability to change the face plates here in the future. So if you wanna do um, maybe your own custom paint job to this, go ahead. If you wanna buy one from Razer whenever they come out, that looks like that's probably gonna be an option for you as well. All that out of the way, I just had to go ahead and talk about it because I think this is just an absolutely awesome thing that you have the ability to do this stuff, right? Put it somewhere on your desk and it not move. Crazy. Now let's go ahead and talk about the software because this is where I think some of you um, might have feel like there's a few drawbacks compared to something like a Stream Deck. My goal is not necessarily just to compare it to the Stream Deck. I wanna go ahead and get that out of the way. I do wanna say that I've also reviewed Loop Deck products in the past. I'll go ahead and have those linked down below and even on the screen and all that stuff so you can take a look at it. And I have to say, they have came a long way with their software and it gets better and better every single time I use it. There's some other things that I think that they should do a little bit differently and we'll talk about that as well. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and get out of the way for you is all of the things that you're used to doing by setting these up to like open up programs. So let's see, something like this to be able to hit this and open up OBS works. Hit this, launch Twitch, it works. It's opening up on my other monitor. Let me go ahead and pull that across. So let's see. So you can see this here. We got the Twitch dashboard open. And if we hit that button again, look at that. It opens it up. This works great. There's nothing wrong with this aspect of this device. I just don't prefer the software near as much as I prefer Elgato's for the Stream Deck. I feel like that and the plugins are a little bit better whenever it comes to the Elgato Stream Deck. But I do have to say, they keep adding more and more stuff into the marketplace and profiles for the Loop Deck. Uh, like I said, th this is definitely a Razer product, but it relies heavily on the Loop Deck software. So you will need a Loop Deck account to go ahead and download some of this other stuff, but it's not gonna cost you money to go ahead and download most of the apps in here or profiles. There are third-party profiles that you can go ahead and download from companies like Slideshow FX and some other companies in here. I think all the plugins are free. 
It looks like the profiles, I think, are what you pay for. There are also icon packs. There are a ton of icon packs actually on here. So if you need specific icons for stuff, there was one I saw in here that I thought was awesome. I really like sim racing. Um, having the ability to go ahead and download a pack which it doesn't really preview them here, but you could see it on that uh, preview image. Where's it at? Right here. There are a ton of options that you could just go ahead and say, cool, I like that. I want to use it. There you go. You can find the icons that you need and they've got them for Farming Simulator, Star Citizen. They have done their due diligence of bringing in a ton of icons for this device so you can get that perfect icon for that button and not have to necessarily put text on the buttons. I prefer not to have to use text on buttons if I can get around it. There is sound effects that you can add as well and even overlays. This looks like it's through owned. So if you were going to do that, um, you'd have to actually have an account or buy these through owned and same thing with the emotes and the presets. So really solid a lot better than it has been in the past. Um, I, I do wish that there weren't paid for items in the marketplace for it. I do like Elgato's um, push with that of where everything pretty much is free in there. So you buy the device and then all the plugins and everything else you see in there is free. While I will say all the plugins for the loop deck right here are free. You just have some, you know, profiles that are paid for. Let's go ahead and close that and talk about some of the things in the software that I really like that Loop Deck does, hence also what Razer is doing since they went with Loop Deck for the software. One thing I have to go ahead and say that I 100% love is the ability to have stored custom actions for whenever you create any kind of action for something on here. So if you created something specific to you and you want to call on it later, you can actually go into the stored action section and you could just drag Battle.net back on there. You don't have to create a new one for Battle.net if you want to put it on a different page. It's that simple. And just like with the other stream controllers that we've looked at in the past, if we go here, you can see if I delete this, let's see, unassign, it goes away. And then if we drag Battle.net back, it pops right up. Easy to use. Um, I know this video is not giving you the best understanding of how good this actually looks, but this screen has a higher resolution, at least from my eye, than what the Elgato Stream Deck does. So these buttons actually look a lot better. The tactile feel of them, um, they're not as mushy as the stream decks. So I would definitely give them a plus on the feel of the buttons and the look of the buttons and the overall build quality. I just think the build quality is better on this device. The caveat that I will say, and I've said multiple times, is going to be the software. There are just more plugins for a stream deck than there is for even this Razer device by partnering with Loop Deck in the software being through there. It's just a tough thing. And getting more and more people to create plugins for it is probably the reason why Razer just decided to partner with Loop Deck to create this as opposed to create their own and incorporate it into the Synapse software. I do like the ability of having something like Synapse and having all the stuff inside of one software package, but I understand with something like this and as custom as this can get and the ability for third party packages, it can get a little rough. With all that being said, I still think this is an amazing product and it should have your at least consideration whenever you're thinking about purchasing a stream type of controller device or something for your productivity. It's really solid. Loop Deck is getting better and better at updating the software. Razer is just a known good product peripheral company. And I think this is a good collaboration and the build quality is stellar whenever it comes to this device. And if you have a stream controller, you really don't want it moving around your desk. And this solves, in my opinion, one of the biggest problems I've had with the Elgato stream decks is they just don't stay where I put them on my desk. This right here is going to stay exactly where I put it. And I really like that about this product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all the other videos and content that we've got on stream controllers. I've got one right here. You should check out, definitely check out that video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.